everyone, my name is Stone. Today we are making an introduction about a reward. High grade inventor SPH 3000 to 6000 series. The inventor connect our the GSL energy listen battery. Watt single phase energy storage system installation. The core parts of the whole energy storage system are SPH6000, single phase hybrid inverter, and 2 by GBLI6531 lithium battery system. There are six models in SPH series, covering the AC power from 3 kW. We have uh, finished the connector with the battery and the three. So now we introduce the grill work in winter connect the port. So from the left side is the PV switch, the red turn button. And for here is the PV positive and negative 2 MPPT. Here is the EPS output. We have connect the fence. This is the AC grid. Here is the Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi monitor, lodger. Here is uh, the CAN communication CAN port. This is uh, battery positive and negative. Please contact the supplier. There are the parts inside the SPH package. There are some connection terminals including PV switch, PV connection terminals, EPS output connection port, emergency power supply, AC grid connection port, antenna, USB for local FW update, RS-232 Wi-Fi for communication accessories, DIP for safety standard of different countries, dry contact, battery connection terminals, and communication terminals including CT port, DRMS communication port only for Australia and New Zealand market, 4852 port to connect the third-party lithium battery. 4851 port to communicate with a smart meter. NTC port for lead-acid battery temperature sensor. CAM port to communicate with Crowwatt lithium battery. One, make sure the PV switch is off. Two, similar to the traditional inverter connecting. The input of PV panel can be realized by using PV terminal. 3. Insert positive and negative cables of solar panel into the relative PV terminal of SPH. Limit maximum PV voltage 550 volts. Maximum PV input current 12 ampere. Max PV input power per string 4000 watts. Note, we suggest you use the cable which is greater than 4 square millimeters 12 AWG to connect. SPH has an AC grid terminal and EPS output terminal. We can follow this AC wire suggestion to choose suitable cables. First of all, please confirm the L and PE port of the connection terminal and thread cables through pressure screw, seal ring, Threaded sleeve in sequence. Insert cables into connection terminal according to polarities indicated on it and tighten the screws. Push and rotate the threaded sleeve onto connection terminal until both are locked tightly. Plug the socket into AC output terminal. Clockwise rotation to tighten the socket. Counterclockwise rotation to loosen the socket. The EPS terminal connection is the same as the on-grid terminal installation 
Tight the threaded sleeve into the off-grid connection terminal and plug the socket into EPS outlet terminal. Caution! No matter the grid is available or outage, make sure to isolate EPS load from both the public grid and SPHAC grid terminal. Dismantle the waterproof cover, thread cables through pressure screw, seal ring, threaded sleeve, waterproof cover. Thread cables into connection terminal, then press the terminal by relevant tools until the battery cables are firmly connected. Finally, connect positive and negative pole of battery cable to the respective battery terminal of SPH. Note. We suggest the distance between battery and SPH no longer than 1.5 meters, and the power line must be larger than 5 AWG. For communication connection, thread the CT and battery communication cables can into the waterproof cover as well. Connect them into the corresponding terminal and connect the waterproof into the inverter finally. Pay attention to the direction of the CT as illustrated. Open the current transformer and you can see an arrow labeled on it which indicates the current direction and the direction of the arrow means from public grid to user load. ProWatt provides two cables whose length is 5 meters and 10 meters. ProWatt also provides RJ45 connector so the total length can reach 15 meters. Okay, for now we check the battery information at first. So from the battery LCD screen, we can see the pack voltage is 49.67 voltage. The current is 1.3 amp. The SOC is 90%, FCC is 50S. We check the inventor communication receipt the information. From the winter LCD screen information, we can see the battery voltage is 49.6 is the same with the battery information. SOC is 90%. The battery for now is 60 watt to discharge to the fans and we didn't connect the PV so the PV voltage is 0 and the PV is not work. The grid we have, we didn't connect the grid. So it's zero. Okay. The EPS output, the voltage is uh, 231, 32 voltage and uh, 50 Hz. The frequency EPS is uh, 52, 53, 51 uh, water. It means uh, the fast is uh, only the around uh, 50 watt. The plot is uh, only one percent. Okay. For now, we make uh, introduce the uh, firm APP monitor. From the firm APP. We can see the inverter, the serial number, the model is the SPH5000, power is the 5000 water. The battery SOC is 90%, it's the same with the inventor. The battery charge power, the total battery charge power is 1.3 kWh. After the system was powered on, if PV, grid, and a battery are available, the system will work on normal mode. When the SPH is on the normal mode, the screen shows normal and LED is green. If SPH didn't enter normal mode successfully, especially if the LED is red, please contact GrowWatt Service Engineer for help. Okay, we have finished the introduction of the GrowWatt Winter and uh, GSR Energy successful make a communication. Thank you so much.